Thank you for your interest in these incredible machines. They have supported us in war and peace. Let us remember those heroic crews too. The Polikarpov PO-2 served as an all-weather multirole Soviet biplane, nicknamed Kukuruznik. The reliable, uncomplicated concept of the PO-2's design made it an ideal trainer aircraft, as well as doubling as a low-cost ground attack, aerial reconnaissance, psychological warfare, and liaison aircraft during war, proving to be one of the most versatile light combat types to be built in the Soviet Union. As of 1978 it remained in production, for a longer period of time, than any other Soviet-era aircraft. It is one of the most produced aircraft, and may be the most produced biplane in history. However, production figures for Polikarpov U-2 and PO-2 bombers, and trainers combined are between 20,000 and 30,000 with production, ending as early as 1952. Precise figures are hard to obtain since low-rate production by small repair shops and air clubs likely continued until 1959. From the beginning, the U-2 became the basic Soviet civil and military trainer aircraft, mass-produced in a Red Flyer factory near Moscow. It was also used for transport and as a military liaison aircraft due to its stole capabilities. Also from the beginning it was produced as an agricultural aircraft variant, which earned it its nickname Kukuruznik. Although entirely outclassed by contemporary aircraft, the Kukuruznik served extensively on the Eastern Front in World War II, primarily as a liaison, medevac, and general supply aircraft. It was especially useful for supplying Soviet partisans behind the German front line. Manufacturing of the PO-2 in the USSR ceased in 1949, but until 1959 a number were assembled in Aeroflot repair workshops. Thanks, you have reached the end of the journey. Take care, see you pretty soon. Safe flight. <laughs>